Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of April 26, 2021. Four topics this week, pretty cool ones. The first one is the Bay Aerospace uh, E-Flyer A-100. This is an electric aircraft that uh, will carry a whole bunch of people for quite a bit of a distance and a really cool concept. Uh, we'll talk about an unlicensed pilot that is going to jail after, well, after doing some stupid stuff. This is a don't be that guy segment. We'll talk about Airbus that is looking into doing uh, laser terminals. I'll talk about what that means in a second. Really interesting concept. And lastly, we have the Leonardo AW609 VTOL aircraft. We'll talk about the VTOL concept, what it does, what it looks like, who's going to be using it. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. First thing this week, by Aerospace E-Flyer A-100. This is a, an electric aircraft that is designed to carry eight people. And you see the pictures right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. The first time I looked at the pictures, I was like, whoa, this is, this is really amazing design. Uh, 320 knots of cruise speed, 35,000 foot ceiling, 500 nautical miles of range. And that includes a 45 minute IFR reserve uh, flying at 280 knots. The payload is 1,540 pounds, which is fairly huge. And um, really interesting design. I've talked about electric aircraft. Uh, I'm a believer in, in electric aircraft for the future. Uh, this has a quad redundant battery on the aircraft. So in case something happens, obviously uh, you have a backup for that. A parachute on the airframe. You get a bunch of options. You can get solar charging, which would be uh, doing uh, a, trickle, a tr trickle charging to the, the battery during flight. We have uh, emergency auto land. We talked about EAL in the past from Garmin. Basically push a button, the, the aircraft finds a spot and basically lands on the runway, brakes, even has the ability to taxi. Just really, really cool design. Um, and then electric motors for taxi. Now, let me talk about this because uh, we were talking about this in the office. And I just find this amazing that to this day, we haven't had an aircraft that is designed to move on the taxiway with just the power of an electric motor. Why not, right? Uh, why not have a Cessna 172? For those of you that fly, uh, I know a lot of you fly, can you imagine not having to burn your fuel in order to get to the end of the taxiway and get ready to fly and you haven't even turned on the engine just yet and then you get to do your run up, do your warm up and everything right there at the end of the runway after everybody's clear or right before you get to the runway. So anyway, I, I just think this is amazing that uh, they have the ability, this is an option, you can have an electric motor just to taxi the aircraft to the end of the runway and then go ahead and turn on the actual electric motors for the props take off and then you're good to go. So really cool. Um, there's no battery capacity that was mentioned. Uh, based on the articles that I read, this is gonna take a very, very large battery, probably one of the largest batteries that we've seen on an electric aircraft to date. There's no price, there's no delivery date at the moment, but I know that uh, uh, Bay Aerospace is working on getting part 23 certification for two of their models, the E-Flyer 2 and the E-Flyer 4. These are smaller trainers, uh, and hopefully, I, quite frankly, I would love to buy one of these aircraft. I think they're, they're really cool. Uh, the, the idea of less maintenance, less cost of operation it is just grand, especially for a flight school. I came from a flight school environment. I would love to have uh, 50 ODs in the flight school training environment and see how they do. And we can bring the cost of flight training down so it's more affordable for people. So anyway, I get off my soapbox. Um, let's talk about this guy. And, and man, we, we looked through this article and we started digging and digging. And, and the more we dug and the more we found just ridiculous stuff. So let me, let me set you up here. Fredericksburg, Fredericksburg, Virginia. The airport hires this guy called Ryan Parker to assemble an aircraft. Okay, it's a, it looks like it's a kit aircraft. You can see the picture playing right here in the background. Uh, Ryan owns a business called Outlaw Aviation, which is not a good start. And uh, that's an aircraft detailing business. He decides before finishing assembling the aircraft that he's gonna take the aircraft for a joyride. And he does a 15, 10, 15 minute joyride over suburban DC. For those of you that are familiar with the area around DC, you can't fly aircraft in there unless you have training, approval, you name it. Uh, some other issues. This guy, Parker, does not have a pilot license. The aircraft is not finished at the time. They said that there was a caster that was used as a tailwheel and they were using a plastic bicycle bottle, water bottle, you know, when these water bottle that you put on your bike uh, as a radiator overflow. 
Yes, I can see your head shaking. That's what I did when I first heard that. Um, he was estimated to be flying around 50 feet AGL and in poor visibility over Washington DC suburbs. And then not only that, but this was his fifth felony and his second felony regarding aviation. So remember the name of the company? Outlaw Aviation, well, that's, uh, that's a, that's, I feel like a good name. Uh, sentenced for 14 months in jail after doing all this. So uh, anyway, don't be that guy, I think is an appropriate term right here. As I said, you can see the pictures uh, playing in the background. Let's talk about something more fun, uh, Airbus. Airbus is looking to do, in, to do laser terminals. Now you're gonna say, what is a laser terminal? Uh, the idea is to have a laser beam that uses high-speed internet to send the internet from the terminal to the aircraft. And um, basically using, uh, yeah, just super high-speed internet. And we're talking about super high-speed, they're talking about one gigabyte per second of speed, which is huge. Uh, they, they're trying to demonstrate this technology by 2022 at the uh, Tenerife airport. And um, the technology would be used for manned aircraft, but also for unmanned aircraft. So can't wait to see more on this. Just really interesting uh, piece of data. Uh, last thing this week is Leonardo AW609. I wish they would come up with names that are better than this. Uh, for VTOL, this is the first civil tilt rotor aircraft. VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing. You've seen these, probably you've seen the, the Boeing V-22 Osprey uh, that uses that is used in the military. This thing will do a vertical takeoff and then the motors will tilt, hence a tilt rotor aircraft, and to go and do forward flight. And it's really cool technology, uh, but to date there was no actual civil uh, VTOL aircraft. So this is designed for executive transport. This is not a small aircraft, this is a fairly large aircraft. Um, uh, executive transport, medical and rescue, uh, doing energy services. So the, the big advantage obviously is the ability to take off from a much smaller space. You don't need a runway, you can use a runway, but you don't need a runway to do uh, a vertical takeoff. So uh, 6,300 pounds of payload, 275 knots, and then uh, 700 to 1,000 nautical miles of range, depending if you have the uh, extra fuel tank. And um, it looks like they have a first customer with Bristow, and uh, they're gonna be using these for air ambulance and, and VIP transport. So really cool, cool design. Um, that's all I have this week really for you guys. If you want drone news, we have a drone channel where you can check out. We're talking about a, a really small aircraft and we're talking about a much larger aircraft, the Wing Copter 108, that's gonna be doing drone deliveries. Uh, we have a, a drone that goes inside of hurricanes from NOAA to capture data. And then we have some drone regulation that is uh, no good. That really no other way to say it. So. As always, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys every Friday and uh, that's all I have. So have a safe week and uh, happy flying.